Boksho ima je! Kameza! Okay, just like to welcome everyone to Point Shop and Gecko. Um, many of the structures have been recognised from previous years. We hope you'll have a great time. Um, we're going to start the morning event with Master Mark Shui and Senator Peter um, from Germany who are going to be doing a demonstration of K Masters. So we're all going to gather around the Entertainment Army for a demonstration. Once the demonstration is finished, we're going to warm up and then the entire group is going to be handed over to Master Mark Shui for the first hour. Okay? Yes. Hope you enjoy yourselves. Um, if anyone needs anything or has any problems, feel free to come and see myself or a sense of trouble at the end there, and we'll try and put it right for you, okay? Yes. Thank you very much. Yes. Yes. Yes.
I'm going to strike here as hard as I can, not in class. I want to try to break one of the bones between the elbow and the wrist, hopefully both the bone. Coming down in a downward motion, next one's going to be taking out the shin, and as he's thinking about that, I step behind, and when you get back here, use your brain, do what you want to. You can kill him, you can take out a rib, you can make him stand up taller, or you can take out a leg. As Ed Parker used to say, the piece is yours. And another thing about the Kane Master System is when you go for your black belt, you have to make up 25 of your own technique. And now play blocking, stepping in, taking out the shin area, doesn't matter which leg, when you get back here, do whatever floats your boat. Please stay away from Gary the neck right now, we'll be glad to wait. But have some fun. Come on. show you two different techniques. You start the same way and you end them a little bit different. Now remember that anything you do with a cane, you can do with your arm. A cane is an extension of your arm. So, okay. so this is kind of like a figure four coming at me. I'm going to do a block. I'm going to try to crush that shoulder, break it, which should make the arm go limp out of the street. I'm going to come up, grab it here, now from here, I don't want the cane up here. I won't have the leverage. Okay, so right about here is great. I'm gonna take my elbow and try to touch my cane. Watch what his body does. Okay, then from here, I lift up on my cane, which dislocates the shoulder. I'm gonna swing out my left foot and Okay. Now, starting out the exact same way, coming at me, block. Smashing the shoulder, I'm going to grab the hand here, put the cane underneath the chin. I don't want the cane out here. Once again, leverage. From here, and then from here, I take my right foot, I come to his center. I push on his arm and pull on my cane. And I do a little football technique here. Then I can have some fun with his arm and stuff. I'll show you to you both again. Take your bar, block, smash, in, clamp it. You want to get your bone here, try to cut that cane. Lock it in tight. Lift, bring it down. Finish it off if you like. Another one, block, smash, around. Push, pull, down, get it. <laughs> and take out here. I'm supposed to so. Now. Remember, I don't know how all the laws are here in the UK, but in the United States, when they get on the ground, and if you hit them on the ground, you go to jail. You've changed the whole situation around. Okay? So when you're on the ground, if they get up like they're going to attack, go for them. If they don't, step back and let them go. I wouldn't, but that's how you're supposed to do it in the street. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> the laws in the United States are getting terrible. You have to go to you have to go to court and defend yourself for defending yourself. It's getting terrible. I'm, I have a feeling it's getting that way here too. Do you want to see him again? <laughs> One more time. Okay. Block up as hard as you can. Around, grab, tighten, lift. Take them out. Same thing here. Lock around. Down. Your partner tap, stop. Doesn't take much to break something like this. Have some fun. What? Oh, oh, oh.
Starting out, coming again, stepping out of the way, blocking two hands, push, and then I'm going to rake the face, try to put the shaft under the nose, lift up, feet around the neck, hand here. Now I want to get my hand as deep into here as I can until they flap. Now if I stay here too long, you will pass out because I have both things covered here. That almost happened to me a couple times. So get past here. Now you want it in here, and this hand comes over here, one finger. As soon as they tap, please let go. It's important. Once again. Okay. Block, push, break the face. Now here, I'm going to turn my hand over, coming up here. I don't want my hand this way. I can't get it in as tight. Here, I can really suck it in. He's all mine. If he has a friend, I can move him around, and he can't escape, and I can hide. And then you can give him a kiss in the ear as you take him down. <laughs> now, the other way is I hold the cane like this. This just makes it faster. I'll go real slow the first time. As he comes in, fan block, striking. If I happen to hit the face, oops. Aiming for the throat, sliding in and around. Now, for fun, take your shoulder, put it by his shoulder blade. Watch what his spine does. Okay? So, once again, lock, strike, slide in. Now, be careful. This is being nice. I could turn it around like this so the horn's here. And his throat all the way around. See the difference here? Or take out an eye. So this is being very nice to the man. Understand? Here or here. So here's nice. Hand, palm up, slide it in. One finger. Take him down. Be careful. Like this goes. You can get this thing going. I had a clock on a CHP over in Nevada at 190 miles an hour. Okay? There's things you're going to learn, like you saw doing the spinning and stuff. It's fun to play with the cane. You learn how to spin it. And you want to learn how to get this horn up in the air so you can get things going. You want to practice a lot. But anyway, the next technique, we're going to go down to the feet. So as he attacks up here, I'm going to come down, smash hard here, hit and push. And come in here and have some fun. It's very simple. One leg or two, it doesn't matter. But you want to whack the shin. That gets them lift up in the air because they don't want to be on the ground anymore. And then just put your shoulder up by their buttocks and off they go. So once again, as they come in, wham, hard as you can. Slide around, grab, lift. Then you can pull in there, you can bring the thing in here and have some fun. Just play with it. Because I show you technique, if a guy's coming at you, don't forget to deflect what's coming at you first, or you might not have a chance to do your technique. Because you guys are bouncing underneath. If you go underneath there and you don't check his hands, you could be at the other, other end of this whole situation. But coming out with the left hand, this one's kind of fun. I'm going to do a block here. I'm going to come up and place the cane right here. This is not a lock, but it'll take him a second to think about how to get up. I slide my hand down here as close to the neck as I can, and now I'm going to try to take my elbow and touch my cane. He's in a choke, and I make a left hand turn. Do a block, smash, slide up. Hand comes over here, lift. Be careful, because you're choking here, you can collapse the throat here. So be real careful with this. And when the person taps, stop. So you're, you're coming up choke technique and then just make a turn you're gonna make a left hand turn and as it comes down lift your knee into his gut. Be careful.
Okay, on this one, as he throws a punch at me, all I want to do is deflect this punch. I can either block it with my face, which I stopped doing last week, okay? <laughs> or I can just have him miss me by a quarter of an inch. I'm gonna smack him up the side of the head here. That should knock him silly all by itself. But then to have some more fun, I'm gonna slide up in here and I roll it into here. Now, I could take off his ear if I wanted to as I'm sliding it down, especially if you have those uh, canes that have the uh, teardrop design with those teeth on it. Think, think evil, it's a lot more fun. <laughs> okay, so just, I'm gonna show you two different ones. One, blocking it, smashing. That there would pretty much make him silly anyway. And I'm gonna slide in here, slide it down, roll them in, and turn the cane down. Now, if I don't want to have the arm trapped in there, do the same thing as he comes in, lock it down. Here, come back over here. And then to make it my size, just bring him down. Be careful, because you can kill him easily. See what I'm doing here? If you want to have some more fun, bring it over here and break his neck. Don't do that today, he waits on us. OK, one more time. Just make it so it misses. Slide up, roll, bring it in. When you're doing this, play with the guy. Try it doing with the cane where it's perfectly level. The more you go down this way and you get that caught up front, okay? And the other one is you're just knocking the out all the way completely, coming back over here. If you want to have some more fun, go around. So much you can do. Use the brain. Have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> From here to here, and touch. Grab inside your elbow and turn around. <laughs> Once more, from here to there, around, grab your elbow, come back and take control. Go back. Turn to the outside and come back. Don't make a very big movement. Keep it tiny. Okay, from here to here. Who is not used to play? Is there a problem for, for anyone? No problem. All right. So, from here to there, take her elbow and bring her in the safe position. To here. Go away and control her. All right with that? Okay. But don't fix the Okay, you get away with your breath. Okay. 
make his wrist free from here to here to the outside. This movement. This movement. This is that we have enough power. All right. Knees. Okay, we've got the rising knee. Go straight to the body weight. Pull back. Up foot. Okay, done fast. Push. Push. In. Okay, we've got the round knee. Comes over that way. Over into the body. Or in. Side. Done fast. Push. 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 And got the side knee. No target that I can see to pull in that way. So I lift up. Push. Push. Your hip up, control the arm. There you go. Okay, slow. Turns his head, I'm not bothered. In. Move into your technique, don't do it. That way, pull back. 
I'm an idol, that. <laughs> Comes in. So this comes over that way, back out. Look where my head is striking here. So I'm pulling again. The way I step in, I won't do this. I go past, sweat, whatever. I'm sliding into the technique. That way I'm back out. I go this way, step. Here, same position, and go down. Once more. Demonstrate this back on me, no problems. Okay, in, turn the hip in. Like I said, it's not the same again, but coming up chamber in to kick. Just short, fast. In. I'll kick his hip. Make it a bit better. Next time. In, in. When he drops, if he kicks me there, what happens? Make sure you do that. The hands do this. And make sure you guys do Thank you. 
Elbow go up. No? If he knows how to fall, I can let him go to this part. Right? But if he don't know how to fall, which is Polakano. I know how to escape. <laughs> don't try to escape. Okay. Try, try to do this slowly. Us. clinch position. I try to, to 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 get an inside position and he allows it. I get ahead of him. I control the position. I keep my head close to him so that I, I don't get punched and I have more leverage. On the movement, I'm going to go down on his waist and he's moving here. As soon as it's strong, I'm going with him. I control his arms so that he doesn't punch me. When I land, I step into my waist. I don't try to go on top of him. Otherwise, I'm going to get swept and I lose my advantage. I establish my position. I stay in base. I control, evaluate the, 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 the situation, and then I can move forward. Okay? Either I test the guard, or I can just stay here. Okay? The guy just started to avoid the takedown. So I had this up my sleeve. I didn't show it to anyone. I didn't do it during the, the whole competition. And I used it in the final. Because I knew the guy was fighting and he knew me. So I had this as a wild card to get him. Because I knew he wouldn't accept my game. Okay, so the thing is this. Sometimes we're here. And we're fighting. I'm here, I pull, and I go here. To the <laughs> Once again, I grab his neck, I was trying to pummel him here, okay? If he, if he accepts this position, that means I'm too close to him. I'm going to do other techniques. People start to push and try to stay away, so I control his neck and control his arm, okay? The way you're going to do it is this, okay? Hand on the neck, leg goes on the side of the ribs. You fall to the same side. Don't fall like a tree, smooth, and do rotate. See that? Okay. Even if you stay standing up, the movement works the same. I lift my hips up, keep his arm under control. In, move my hip up, drop my leg on his neck, control the arm, go up, and there he goes. That the arm bar. Once again. Here, leg goes on the side. I got the arm controlled. Okay. Leg goes on one side. <laughs> Lift my hip off the floor. Drop my leg on his neck. Get my knees together. Control his arm. Move my hip up. There you go. Did your hip up? Hip up. That's the one. No, no, no. Wrong arm, man. Should be this one. One more time. Okay, one more time. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Y
So you're not coming this way. It's not like an uppercut. It's sometimes described like an uppercut in the magazine. It's not an uppercut as such. So again, you cover. It starts there, comes out there. So you're lifting now. So now you're coming up. Through. As opposed to going down. And so you from here, comes in, one, through. You're trying to lift it and stick it out of the shoulder. For the time being, obviously don't try and drive it through the shoulder. So make sure you are getting some push here. Two, and not just here. You'll tell the difference between that and that. You can see the difference. No here, dull thud. Bit of here, bit of body shift. That means you've actually, you know, a bit more penetration. And so you're going to be in here. Now he's driving in for the muscles up here. One, two, bang. And then from there, once you've turned it, one, two, you can then both legs, take the knees, bring the other knee up. It doesn't really make a lot of difference. It's going to, the whole thing starts with what you understand as pain compliance. If you go to here, then it's just going to rip your head off. Okay? You've got to make sure that you can here, one, two, three, four, four. So you're actually then maneuvering the the punch really is a very fast push. It doesn't go out and stop. It must carry on. It must push forward. But not to the point where you then make it this and fall over and miss altogether. So if you're here, whack, not here. Stand up. Oh, anyway, if, if, he, if he goes with me down here, it's easy. I beat here, but keep it like this and I can react. Yes. <laughs> it depends how the reaction is. My body is conforming to this action, whatever it is. But just try this. For example. Because now all my weight is on you. So first thing I have to do is make sure I stay in a good pace, stay in pace. I don't let myself getting an arm stretched, okay? I don't let myself getting off balance, okay? Okay? I defend myself, okay? First thing, stay in base. Now, one leg goes up, okay? Second leg goes up, okay? And I pull my opponent here on my knees, control. Okay, I got control of the situation. My opponent doesn't have a base, so I'm maneuvering it. Control the leg. As I push the leg down, I move my leg backwards. Here, press my knee through. Keep the the ankle on the leg to control. On the neck. 
Arm bar to the side. Okay, what happens is sometimes I'm here, I'm controlling my opponent. Okay, and they make a mistake, the arm gets on the other side. Okay, and I don't know what to do. I push on his neck, he defends, so I'm gonna attack the forearm. What I'll do is I control the arm, I place my hand on the floor so that I can have some support. I bring my knee closer to him, I don't lift my hip. Now I'm gonna start sliding over his head and pass it to the other side here. Okay. The mistake a lot of people, people make is they do the arm bar and they leave the legs like this or here, okay, open. It doesn't work because he defends, he gets on top of me. So to prevent that, I do the arm bar, either, either the cross side arm bar or this here. It goes here, always up, okay? And then I trap the arm, get my knees together, not like this and not like this. Not silly thing like this, it doesn't work. Okay? The position for this technique is here. The variation is this one. Okay? Okay, repeating with no talking. Okay. If you want 
go for a submission. Push, take, from here, push, come through, take, it's over. Okay? Otherwise, it's here. first. If I just do this, there's a good chance I can roll into me, too much space, too much gap. Then I have to come to something else, like a shin choke, which we may well do at some point. So from here, I'm pinning it to there, watch, out there. Now he's going tight to me. Technique is called the chin jab, which was one of the main techniques which uh, which the SOE agents uh, trained during World War II, and uh, it was one of the favorite techniques by William Faber. The chin jab goes right up to the chin. The primary target is his chin. Then press your fingers down to his his eyes. Press him backwards and then knee him. I hit him into the growing with my knees. And I take him down and finish him. So, up, down. It doesn't matter how big he is, he will go down. Like this. Now, right away. Hit him, start to hit him with the elbow. Stamp on his teeth while hit him with the elbow. Or go after his growing or inside his uh, leg. So we are getting released from the strangulation. Then go after his face and take him down. Too close, he comes in. If you miss, and now I'm fighting. Be strong with me. I can change it where I want to go. Yeah? If we keep away, that's being gentle. Yeah? Once you've really got it, power it in. Here, come on in. Whatever. The harder you is the floor, the less time you've got to come up from the floor. Yes? There we go. We don't want to go here. Too much to talk. Big open gap. We can try. Come here, come in. There. Good here. Punch comes in. Stay close. Here. 
Land on the head is even better to here, then we've got to squeeze on it. We've got to be nice and tight. Okay? Yes. Right, here we go. One more time, Chase. Yes. So from there, outside. Okay, from here, block. <coughs> Get inside his body. Make him part of you. Wherever you go, he must go. Yeah. Don't try and block it here. You open, kick. Nick. What is it? Yeah, he's got a lot to work with. I've got a lot to work with. Now we're in a battle, we're in a fight. Yeah, we've never got to fight each other. Don't want to fight him. Yeah, we're here. Get inside. Whatever you want to do. Yeah, much more? Yes, yes. Slowly. Hmm. Ryan Pet. Yeah, what he can't see, what he can't react to. Whatever you want. Eyes gouge if you want to. Straight to the floor. Yes. We'll get tight this arm bar there if you want it. Okay with that? Yes. The main difference with what I do a lot of the time is I always make sure that I'm inside their guard, completely inside their guard. So they are now part of me. What I don't want, if I don't know what the person's like, and I don't know what kind of history he's got, it's me staying here, the punch start coming, I'll start blocking it here. If he's karate or taekwondo, I'm in trouble. He's got the angle, he's got the space to now start hurting me. You don't want to get in a fight with someone if you can help it. Get rid of them, finish it. Don't let them try and react to what you're going to do. No guy is going to stand there when he's going to punch and just stand and let you start going kick, punch, whatever. Yeah? Smack. Yeah? Well does, yeah. yeah. As soon as you block it, he's going to move in with something else. Ah, whatever. You try and move with something else, you might counter that. Here we go, there we've got a fight on. Which you don't want. Yeah? So you've got to make sure when it comes in, you're here, you're past him. All his fancy blocks and his wonderful holds and his hold that I want to get him down out the ground on the ground as quickly as I can. And move on to the next one. Straight punch comes in from here again. I don't want to go to here. He can now get I've not punched him or hit him. He's not going to stand there when I do a block. And just stand there for two. Yeah. Then you can try and hit me, kick me, whatever I'm going to do. I want to make sure. Whatever I see, I take it. Yeah? <laughs> so from here, like I say, close. Me. Okay, we go there. So from here, right hand start, outside from here. Knees. Hopefully the game is finished. Yes. Okay with that? Yes. yes. Right, don't be easy on each other, guys. Well, don't see it here.
I like to teach this, I like to always like to teach this one. It's a very simple and quick technique. Or not even technique, I've done this, I know it works. I never teach anyone anything that doesn't work in a pub or a club or in a life situation to save yourself from getting hurt. So I know all these work. The problem we've got here, and you've got a major problem, this guy's on gear. You've got no chance fighting someone that's heavily on smack or any kind of gear. Their body is now about 20 times as strong as it was before. Plus, they feel no pain. So you can literally stand in front of someone, smack the hell out of them, and they will laugh at you. Yeah? Same thing happened to this guy with me. This guy, end of the night, it was a pub. Worst thing was, my first night, cut long story short, he was the ex-bouncer of the local area, the hardest man in the pub, and I picked to try and get him out of the pub. Yeah? He was standing there, I said to him, come on Steve, we're leaving the pub, it's time to go. He just stared at me and said, yeah, come in, Trev, make me leave the pub. Like I say, it was heavy on booze, drugged to the eyeballs, and he was staring at me. Whatever I'd done to him, punched him, elbowed him, he would stand there and laugh in my face. Yeah? So, like I say, action is quicker than reaction. All I did is look at him and said, Steve, you're going. Slowly. Action is quicker than reaction, you can't react to it. What you don't want to do is stand there going, wall, neck, wall, hand, neck. Because he really knows what you're doing to him, yeah? he knows you're going to do something. You just stand there and you talk to him like a normal person. Talk to him and he will talk to you or he will listen to you and he will forget about everything that you're about to do to him. Yeah. All we're going to do, I know the wall is there. On the night that I'd done it, there was a door, unluckily. He went straight through the door, there's a fence about 10 foot past that, he hit the fence and dropped to the floor. All well and good. But outside we fought with his other mates waiting for me once I got outside. I'll tell you about that another time. Okay, so from here what I've done was sit there, stood there, Steve, you're going out. When I was ready, all we're going to do is aim for the throat and we're going to push. He tries to move. <coughs> Doesn't matter what you go for, there. Fist, it works. Fist! <laughs> okay with that? First, first. first. Sure, you want to see it once more? <laughs> now, okay, be very careful with this technique. When I just done when I done this for the first time, it was against a, a guy that was a lot lower belt than me. He didn't control himself. And basically what we're going to do from here is the roundhouse punch is going to come in, we're going to block. From here, the elbow is going to take the side of the face out completely. And on the night the guy done it to me, he's come in, he's blocked me, and he's gone crack, hit me straight with the top of his elbow. Cut me about six inches across my cheek. I fell to the floor, got up, went... <laughs> I said, come on, let's go. He went, no, Sensei. Look at yourself in the mirror first. I was in clamour, and literally my eye was open, my eyes were about that deep, so it works, yeah? So from here, punch comes in, block, elbow strike, wrap, control, to the wall, there. The action of the twist, no power, no strength, don't need to go, uh, lift. What are we doing? Securing this arm, locking it into you. Now he's mine, he's my body, whatever my body does, he's got to come with it. There's no brute strength, no nothing. From here, lock, lock. <coughs> Big knee. Finish it. Once more. Block. <laughs> Lock. <laughs> okay, with that. Oh, yes. That's the same. First, where we go. Okay, so as it comes in. First bit first, from here, doesn't want to leave the building. We're there. What he doesn't want to do is his hold. Elbow. He misses. Hit. The twist. He comes. Got that? 
Okay. Doesn't want to go. In the wall. He doesn't behave himself. Strike. He still doesn't want to. There. He comes to the elbow strike. He miss. Big knee. Twist. Look. And voila. <laughs> Take him to the wall. Doesn't behave. Strike. He misses. He comes from the elbow. Knee. Take him. It's a nice little bit there coming back. From here. Let's come here. Strike. Elbow. He tries. Big knee. Take the neck. Yes. Simple things work. Why the flash when you don't need to? Show you again. What do you mean no? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that little bit from there. So from there, there, strike, elbow, two elbows, big knee, take the neck. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Simple as that. Why do we need to be flash and over the top and all these fancy things? Simple things work, pain works. Pain works wonderful. Do you want to see it once more? Yeah. You're lucky he's not in a... So from here, doesn't want to go. There, doesn't behave. Strike, still doesn't. He jumps. Yes! Yes! Kneel down. Kneel down. Yes! Lay on your front. Lay. 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 Put your arms on your back. Now. Thank you. Simple as that. <laughs> and he does martial arts, he's been doing it for the last three years. He can take pain. Imagine someone on the street that doesn't know what pain is like. This will be ten times worse for someone on the street. Yeah? Us? 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 There's no reason why you can't think of it from here. From there. No drawn blood, even better. <laughs> yeah? Us! Yes. Yes. I haven't got nails. Imagine a girl got four inch nails on the end of her hand. Oh, lovely. Okay, so do, do you want to do that one instead, yeah? Okay, so from there. Take Strike. Try again. He blocks. Elbow. There, the head's down. Just come round and take where the sack you can take. Turn round. Face me. Face me. We took that. He's shaking. He's in pain. Yeah, again, we're not going from here. We're not going here. <clears throat> Wanna pull him? Yeah, we're using his motion. Block. There. Even from here, we need to first. Block. <laughs> Whatever works. I don't care. Block. Hit him. Let it go. Block. Hit. I'm worried about one of that boy just slapped him in the face. He's against the wall. Yeah? A slap sometimes on elbow is a lot better than trying to punch someone. A punch can roll. They snap. That might not work. You might have a nice jaw. You might be a boxer. Now you're in serious trouble. Yeah? Elbow, no. That is going to damage him completely. Yeah? So does a slap. It's enough to make you be able to go in and take. Now we can control. What's more? This. Block. Slap if you want. Arm. 
As you turn, all we literally do is move out of his way. I don't turn him. I move out the way. As I move out the way, the arm comes up the back. Block. Spread his legs. Make him unbalanced. Make him less strong. You want to come down and start taking him somewhere? Come down tight. We can lock. Yes. Very tight. Yes. Do you want to see that a little bit again? Yeah? Lock. Flat. Take. Move control. Left hand comes around the neck. Lock. Now he's nice. First one, yeah. keep your finger out of the trigger guard. Okay, some of you already found out <laughs> the technique works best when your finger is through the trigger guard. Okay, do not put your finger down the side of the weapon because on the next technique we're going to do, it will snap your finger, which is a spectacular effect. So do not put your finger down the outside of the weapon. Wrap your hand round the weapon, keep your finger out the trigger guard. Okay. There's a couple of points I want to go back over again. Passive defensive stance. Do not stand square onto a weapon. If you stand square on, okay, it's very difficult to turn the hips and get away from the body, get, get away from the weapon. We can go to the left, we can go to the right, it makes a difference. This particular technique works best with the right leg to the rear. So that's what we're going to do. <coughs> Same thing again. No funny stances. All you need to do is just put your right foot back. All right, pal. <laughs> Bang. Pop. All right. Nice and relaxed about it. Hands back here. Move. Hit it. Move back. Pull the weapon up. Everyone okay with that? Yes. Where you go, please? Once you've turned, watch my elbow. The elbow drops into the crook of his elbow, and I hug the arm tight. There. Hit him with the weapon. Move away and up to the chest. A lot of you are turning, and the hand's out here. Now, the further the weapon is away from you, you're getting involved in a wrestling match. We don't want that. Remember what I said? Make your opponent a second skin. Wear them. In here, he's got nowhere to go. Break the weapon away, hit him in the face with it, move away and take the aim. As you turn, pull the elbow back, hug the arm to you as you break the weapon away. Remember, you don't want to be staring down the business end. If it goes pop, they'll be picking your face up for two weeks. All right? From here. In here, crack, move away, bring the pistol up. You've got to keep it up. If you notice my left leg has gone back this time. Same principles speed, aggression, surprise. Most important. Move fast, move aggressively, therefore catching your opponent unawares. Remember the other principles well when you're dealing with close range weapons, knives, and guns. Action is faster than reaction. They have got to react to your initiated action. That is what stacks it in your favour. From here, keeping the hands perfectly still, eye to eye contact without eyeballing them, we're going to turn the opposite direction. From here, we're going to turn this way. The weapon is pulled back. I punch the weapon forward, which pulls the slide back, and stick the weapon straight in the head. Once again, which is far from action. From here, turn. Snatch the weapon back by punching forward with the weapon. If there's a cartridge in there, I'll eject the case, pick up a fresh round, it's chambered, stick it straight in their head. Okay, once again, from here, turn, pull it back, straight forward. Okay with that? <coughs> Slowly from here, turn, my hand comes over the top of the slide. Make sure your finger is not in the, in the trigger guard. 
from here, hugging the weapon to your chest, <coughs> turn the weapon back on their finger. If Senpai just puts his finger in there in a second, just watch carefully. If you imagine the action now, as I turn, we're just going to bend his finger straight off its hand. Take your finger off me. <coughs> from here, punch forward, slide comes back. Do you understand that? Yes. How many people here have used a firearm? Okay. Under half. <clears throat> In very, very simple terms, magazine holds the rounds. To put one up, you've got to pull the slide back, let it go forward. That chamber's around. You fire the round, slide comes back, throws the case out, picks up a fresh round, ready to go again. By doing this technique, if there isn't a round chambered, or we suspect it may be a fake, it's going to prove it to us. From here, turn, pull back, punch the weapon out. If you had a reason to pull the trigger to discharge the round and nothing happened, what are we going to do then? We're going to batter him with it, close the gap and start using it as a cosh. Because if it's empty or a toy, it's no good to you. From here, turn, pull it back. Okay with that? Yes. Sure? Yes. Okay, have a go. I'll come around and see how you're getting on. Okay, this next technique um, is a rather crafty little technique because you, you play it down all the time. Rather than putting our hands up into a passive defensive stance, our hands are going to be down by our side here. As if to say, bugger. There's a gun there, alright? So your hands by your side. What we're going to do is turn this way, smash around the face with it, and then away we go. So, from here, we're going to use it as a bat. Use it as a bat first, and then work out whether it's a toy or not afterwards. Alright? Yes. So, this position here, our hands by our side, eye to eye contact. Come round, as you come round, turn sideways to the weapon. Remember, all you want to do is get out of the way of the business end. From here, come round and slap the weapon to your chest. There. By turning back, look at the wrist. <coughs> it's away. Hand over, crack him, move away, up into the aim. From here, turn, back. Kosh, move away, bring the weapon up. Simple enough? Yes. If it's simple, it's, it's effective. When you're dealing with knives and guns, remember, no Kong, Hong Kong fluey bullshit, yeah? Simple, effective, get in there, get the job done, and away. From here, turn, away, cosh, and away. From here, Enjoy it, same again. Do not put your finger in the trigger guard. It will snap off, all right? Where we go?
Show you, man. 